On Wednesday, a U.S. jury found both Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard liable for defamation but sided more strongly with Depp. The verdict capped a six-week-long trial. The seven-member jury in Virginia awarded the 58-year-old actor $15 million in damages after finding that the 2018 article penned by Heard on her experience of sexual violence was defamatory to Depp. He was following the proceedings from United Kingdom and posted on Instagram that the jury gave him his life back. In the op-ed for the Washington Post, Heard had described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse and although she did not name Depp in the piece, he sued her for implying that he was an abuser seeking $50 million in damages. The 36-year-old Amber Heard, who had a starring role in Aquaman, countersued for $100 million, saying that she was defamed by statements made by Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman, who told the Daily Mail her abuse claims were a hoax. The jury agreed that Heard was defamed by those statements and also awarded her damages, but at a significantly lower amount of $2 million. Reacting to the verdict, Heard called it a setback for women. She said, and I quote, the disappointment I I feel today is beyond words. I am heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence and sway of my ex-husband. Heard, who was married to Depp from 2015 to 2017, obtained a restraining order against him in May 2016, citing domestic violence. Depp, a three-time Oscar nominee and the star of the film Pirates of the Caribbean, filed a libel suit in London against the British tabloid The Sun for calling him a wife-beater. He lost that case in November of 2020. Both sides have claimed damage to their Hollywood careers. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.